Hey guys, welcome to my fish room. Um, a while back, uh, before I moved here, I decided I was going to start trying to breed some fish. And I got some angel fish, and here's the story. All right, this is my first pair of breeding angel fish. The white one is the female, and the spotted one is the male. They're probably about a year old. There they go. Don't mind the glass. All right, and this is my second pair. The one on the right is the female, and the one on the left is the male. They are also right around a year old. These guys produce probably about, together, I would say about 600 eggs every 10 days. So that's a lot of eggs every month. And I've kind of figured out how to get the eggs to, uh, to hatch and the babies to grow out. Uh, word of advice, if you do decide to do this, your brine shrimp hatching game has to be on. So these guys grow up pretty quick. They need to be fed two to three times a day with baby brine shrimp. And it's just another tank. Please don't mind the uh, state of the tanks. This was taken right before cleaning was done. Um, so they look a lot better now, of course. Uh, I do about a 50% water change every day to every two days. And on the days that I do not do the water changes, I actually top off about 50% of what's in the tank uh, using prime and um, warm water. Please don't use cold water. If you do, you could shock them and you could lose them all. I have learned that. A while back, I thought that I had a, uh, a buyer set up and it just didn't work out. So now I have all of these angel fish growing out and I need to figure out what to do with them. So if you decide to do this yourself, make sure that you have a solid buyer before you're sitting on, you know, a thousand fish that you don't know what you're going to do with. And here are some ones that are about ready to go. I have no idea how many is in there, but there is a lot. Uh, they get fed twice a day. They are growing up nicely. Uh, I don't believe I have seen any uh, loss in the grow out tank, which is this tank. And I have not found any disease or anything yet, knock on wood. But they are growing up and I think they're beautiful. I just need to find something to do with them. And as many people who have been uh, following me know, I mostly do maintenance. That's what I do. I go out and I fix fish tanks. So. Having all this as a side project has kind of gotten out of hand because not only do you have all the time to spend taking care of the fish, but you've got to ship them as well. These are the discus from Jack Wiley that I am growing out. These are your turquoise style discus. I think there's around 25, 27 of those in there. I believe I have a buyer for these guys, but I had some problems with the breeding pair, but they are actually now breeding again and they have uh, a new round of babies and they are fantastic parents and there I believe that's coming up here in a second so there is the male and female the male is larger the female is smaller they actually color up like that to attract the babies to them and of course the babies eat the slime coat off of them um, before I think my problem was I had too much flow in the tank and they actually couldn't keep the babies on the uh, on the breeding cup. And as you can see here, they are great parents. So when they see me, they to make sure I'm not a threat, they hide. So that's what they're doing right now, they're trying to hide. So yeah, I guess I'm just not that good at marketing. I don't know yet. Um, but I have a lot of stuff to move. So if y'all want any angel fish, uh, let me know. Uh, I believe I have a home for all the discus. Uh, they're still kind of growing out. Uh, if there's anything in the video that y'all did like, y'all want to see another video of, let me know. I've made several videos and I'm kind of running out of ideas. So just hit me up. Let me know. You know, Leave a comment down below and uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. I appreciate your time. Y'all have a great evening. Talk to you later. And I don't even want to get started on all this coral that I have backed up. Well, this is the biggest tank I have ever done.